four, three, two. Hello! I'm Noah. Well, my parents changed 100 at the big third and half. Okay, that's not how I was wanting to do it, but that's fine. Hello and welcome to the uh, not so newsy news. Uh, we kind of got tired of that. We did. So, today, we're just going to interview people. We do interviews. This. But we're going to do it within like the confinements of the room. It probably help. See, it means this isn't the news, and I'm saying the Harding, this is the pot. So it's like a version of the talking pot, but not the talking pot. So basically, like he said, we're just going to kind of interview people around this, uh, the confinements of this room, and someone is currently knocking on the door. We're about to find out who it is. It's Mr. Neal. Oh, dear God, it's Wesley Neal, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get him on in just a moment. Take a seat, sir. So, um, I guess we can start off, we'll probably do like hot topic questions, I'm going to get him later, you'll see. Uh, Noah, uh, how do you feel about the uh, current state of Israel? That, 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 that's, a great, that's a great place to start. How do you feel about them, the Jews? No offense taken by anybody, but just, you know what I mean, Jerusalem. Who is Israel? Uh, so if you're if you're looking at the map of Asia, it's right between Mongolia and Russia. Oh, Mongolia. Yeah, <laughs> they they got some uh, good places out here. The Mongolian grill up in places too. See, it it, it it never fails that we get into a topic and he has to bring up something about that place. There's nothing that special about them. There, there's a great big ground grill. They throw stuff on there, you know, do some stuff with their hands. It's, it's, it's really not that cool. But, but he'll throw a fit about it. I have like cried because the food was so good before. Hey, scoot up a little bit so the green screen isn't all messy. Because I'm sure it's gonna look really terrible right now. But we you don't know, care. It's fine. That's the charm of the news. It's awful. Right. You know, it's always awful. Okay. So basically, we have a special guest. We're going to get the him up out of y'all. Noah, out. Mr. Neal, come on, buddy. All right, molasses, come on. <laughs> Stand up. Oh, hello there. I got some friends. Really? Yeah, it's a little late, but it's Christmas, right? I'm not here for gifts. I'm here to ask you some really important qu Some I'm, really important. I'm here against my will. I just want to make that. So, okay, you can go. All right. So, for those of you of you of you of you who watch the news, knows that number one, he's a teacher, and number two, for those of you who watch segments like this one, those I've been trying to get on here, one man, just one, by the name of Mr. Hogg. I'll say his full name. I won't disclose any for information, Chris Hogg. <laughs> See, it's believed by me and a couple others in this school that they have a close relationship. So I have him on here to ask you a few questions. Mr. Hogg, if you're watching this, I'm not sorry. You're exposed. Is he a lizard? Straight out. Uh oh. No. Are you saying that because he's paid you out? No. Are you sure? Yes. Have you seen his can, eating habits? I can see. I can say in full confidence that I eat lunch with him almost every day. He's a human. Now, I believe he's that fibbing. Jackson Living Good character. He may be a lizard, as you call it. No. I, I can see. No. That. Jack Jackson's different. He's special. He's special. Okay. Well, um, it I'm seems. <laughs> we're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut that. Yeah, we're gonna cut that scene because this year is going here with us. Uh, well, uh, now that I guess I've had my questions sort of answered and my hypothesis has been shot down. Uh, where did you get this idea? Uh, no, we're gonna talk about that later in class. Uh, a word from our sponsors. Two.
Welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed the quick commercial break from our sponsors over in. Um, yeah. So our next guest is going to be my favorite person, Jackson Living Good. Give him a round of applause, everybody. So backstage with me. I really want to call that backstage, I guess, over there by the wall. Waiting. You heard what Neil said, right? I heard what Neil said. I believe it's too much. He's a lizard. He is. He's been bought out by the government. CIA. Good, take it back. He has a good point. So, for the next five minutes, we're going to see if we can go off the deep end about how this school has paid him out. I'll watch the transaction between Mr. Bicknell and Mr. Neal. Mr. Bicknell's helping Mr. Hogg hide his identity of a lizard. I saw it happen. I saw it with my very own eyes. Yeah. Was it that Wednesday we got out of school? I knew it! Secret, secret lizard meeting. I think we have two perpetrators in this school. Maybe even three. We've yet to completely ask Mr. Masters any um, true questions. Um, so Jackson, who do you think is winning the Super Bowl? The Patriots, who sadly got in there because they cheat. Cheating. I want the Eagles the, the, to win. The Patriots, the Eagles. I want the, I want the Eagles. Okay, so you have the or you want the Eagles, but who do you think is going to win? I don't want to say it. The team who shall not be named is who he predicts. I hate him so much. Yeah, he ain't the only person, and he won't be the only person. Uh, so we've discussed our um, uh, possible. Human life form of teacher of ours. Ow. Um, my gift from Mr. Neal is now broke. And, uh. Jackson has another hole in his hand. Another one. That hurt me to say it. Um, so next up, we have my second favorite person, Gabe Roberts. Come on, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, see, perfect example. I follow the CDC closely when it comes to sickness and stuff. He has a foot. He has a foot. He has a foot. Yeah, whatever. You knew the last major outbreak of the flu was in 1914? Unless it's a swine flu, but who cares about the swine flu? A bunch of pigs. <laughs> uh, yay. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I know. Yeah. While you were sitting back there, and we were speaking about the the team who shall not be named. Yeah. You were you made a couple uh, gestures of uh, disapproval. Yes. Why is that? Well, you know, it's the same way. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, when it comes to football, um, uh, or you know, specifically Barcelona. the oh my god, Barcelona, Barcelona for the win. Where's Barcelona? It is in Russia, Spain, or Russia. Yeah, um, Mexico. Speaking of Mexico, have some good food. Have you been to Pricos here recently? Yeah, get, get the Las Vegas. Huh? All you get is a steak with like melted cheese. You can't talk about Mexican food. That's still good. No, yeah, Burritos yeah, yeah. is like adding on though. They got like lights. They got the pink lights and the blue lights when you first walk yeah, in. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We're getting extremely way off topic here. Um, let's talk about some current events. You know, All right. uh, our friend Gabe. Gay, uh, he's up with current events. Oh, hit me. Sorry. Um, with current events. Uh, how do you feel about the state of Kentucky Matt Bevins cutting, you know, uh, these said programs for said future pensions? Well, 
Tell you what. He's telling this one. Tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what. You know what? We actually have a really great guest who can answer this question. Next up, after these words, Mr. Masters. Previously on The Talking Pot, Jack sent felt. I've fallen and I can't get up. Can't get up. And now, the conclusion. And welcome back, and I'm we were glad to have our sponsors KFC for them allowing us to use that commercial. They really didn't allow us to use it. We just kind of took ownership of it. So before the break, we had Gabe Roberts in here, and we, we asked him about the state of Kentucky and the pension crisis and whatnot, and um, he didn't answer. I think he was a little overwhelmed by the question. However. We have uh, Mr. Masters, Eric Masters, currently the band teacher here at Paris Independent Schools. Director. Director here at Paris Independent Schools, and he's going to talk to us about the pension crisis, Mr. Masters. Most of the time, when we're talking about pensions, most of us just get so mad that we black out. But... What's going on is basically the teachers have been paying into a pension system for forever, and uh, is it looking as eyes? My understanding is that uh, our beloved government keeps kicking the can down the road year after year after year after year, yeah. and uh, now our, our governor is uh, put into a position where he's got to do something about it. And so there's a lot of hurt feelings and a lot of bad things said between all the parties involved. But needless to say, okay, there's it, a lot of it, issues going on. Ah! That got extremely violent. You know, but, but people who served in our armed forces have seen things. But I've seen other things. He screamed. He threw. Wailing and gnashing of teeth and tearing of the shirt. I don't think I can unsee that. Or, uh, uh, I'm not sure if we have a next guest. So we might cut it at that. Uh, thank you for joining us on our quick segment. And we're, I'm um, sorry for not posting anything here of the past couple months. Um, I'm Samuel Harney. And